And we back again with another episode of Bad City Sports. This your boy, Cousin School. Thank you, family, for tuning back in, man. Appreciate that. Go ahead and like, subscribe. Tell everybody about your boy, man. I'm giving y'all that real deal in the DMV Sports News. And I'm going to let y'all in on this DC drama we got going on, man. Last two weeks, watching the Commanders 0-2, losing crazy. Defense looking like garbage, offense not producing. Hey, I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret about them. So, stick, stay tuned to this episode because we're going to yeah, get into that a little bit. Also, since we're on the football bit, Bama Tua got knocked out. I, you know what I'm saying, Miami, and, you know, it brought a lot of things to mind, so we're going to talk about that, and a couple other, you know, former Washington players that went through, you know, similar situations, and, you know, since we talk about the mind, the concussions and stuff, man, let's talk about my boy John Wall, he released, you know what I'm saying, an interview on Clutch Point uh, Sports or whatever on they, you know, their little platform, and, man, he got into some, into some real deep stuff right there, so... We're going to talk about, you know what I'm saying, Brother John Wall. And, you know, Washington Wizards, man, preseason, training camp is open. So we're going to get digging a little bit deep into that. So, man, thank y'all for tuning in. Heck of an episode. And without further ado, let's get it. And we back again with another episode of Mad City Sports. So, man, first things first, we're going to dive into this, you know what I'm saying, watching the commander situation, the drama, man. Coaches called out players, players not producing, man. Coaches, honestly, not producing, man. Offense have not been doing shit, man. Honestly, man, our offense is terrible, man. I mean, first game, they was doing it right, man. Quick passes, getting the ball out, giving it to the playmakers, letting them do their thing. Next two games, Detroit, three and out, three and out, turnover, sacks. Motherfucker playing Philly, sack, sack, turnover, three and out. Man, what the hell's going on out there, man? Defense, I, I mean, honestly, they play well in the first, you know what I'm saying, first quarters or whatever like that. But then them niggas get tired, Bob, like, son. And then they start getting fried, son. Kendall, Kendall full again, Moss left and right against Philly, like, Slam, this joint is getting nasty. This shit getting disgusting out here, Bob. Like, I don't know what, you know what I'm saying, is going on. The coaches, you know, I'm listening to Scott Turner. He talk about some, yeah, you know, I've been, you know what I'm saying, calling the wrong play. You knew we got to get the ball out. Boy, we should have been doing that, Sean. You did that joint week one. Why you ain't been doing the joint again? Not getting the ball out quick enough, man. You need to get that thing in check, Scott Turner, man. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, you about to get out of town just like Jack Del Rio and this sorry-ass defense. Everybody playing back, not playing aggressive enough, man. First quarter against Philly, you was playing a little aggressive. And then what happened, man? You start getting cooked, man. Niggas getting mossed and all this, man. Like, son. So, I don't know really more what to say about this, man. Giving up four touchdowns to Jared Goff. Three against Philly to, uh, what's it called, Hurts. Now, Hurts look like an all, all-star off that joint. And Philly not even really that good. So, I want y'all to ease up on that whole Philly thing. But it just shows how terrible we are, man. And as a real Commander fan and a real Washingtonian mo, that joint is, this is looking disgusting. And it's just reminiscent of, like, you know, previous years of us not starting out well, man. It's just, you know, falling back to the end of the pack, man. I'm not feeling that. The competition doing their thing. Why can't we? Terrible, man, but y'all see the plays out here. Mama's not stepping up. They're not doing what they supposed to do. I mean, I guess this is what they coach to do, but because I know they way better than this, but I think I blame, honestly, coaching, man. Step it up, Scott Turner. Step it up, Jack Del Rio. Y'all really got to do it. Y'all our house, man. I ain't putting them full blame on Ron, but damn, Ron, you bring these Bamas in here to do their job, and they ain't doing it right, so you get the blame, too. So, man, everybody need to step it up for real. Also, give a special shout out to Sway Run Twenty One on these on these tapes, man. Hey, he give you a little inside look about what you know, what I'm saying be breaking down on this team. 
And as you can see, man, this defense be playing terrible at times, man. So, shout out, you know what I'm saying, Sway121. I'm going to put his little description down below, my, you know what I'm saying, down below. So, yeah, man, tune, tune into his channel, too, because he give you a little inside scoop about what be going on with this team on the field. So, yeah. And, you know, Bama's need to step this thing up for real. And, you know, since I'm on this football topic, I don't know if you peeped last Thursday night, but uh, the quarterback for the Miami Dolphins, two attack of a lower, got knocked out of the game. But it wasn't like, you know what I'm saying, Bama just ran through him. Nah, Bama just, you know what I'm saying, took him to the ground, but his head hit the ground, you know what I'm saying, like, hey, he got knocked out off of it, knocked out cold, where he was throwing up gang signs and all that. I mean, I only seen that about one other time in my life when my brother knocked the nigga out and his ass was, you had me twitching on the ground, but other than that, damn, that shit happened on the football field, slam man. Uh, you know, previously, you know, he suffered a concussion prior before that, you know, the week earlier. And, you know, it made me go back and think, you know what I'm saying, other times in the NFL, we have players that suffered those same kind of injuries and tried to bounce back quickly, but, you know what I'm saying, they wasn't ready to bounce back and get, you know what I'm saying, knocked down again. And two players that come to mind, you know what I'm saying, former players, recent former players, is Jordan Reed, you know what I'm saying, that we had a tight end. And um, who am my other guy I'm thinking about? Oh, yeah, Sewell Cravens. How I forget about Sewell Cravens, man. Real good dude. Shout out to Sewell Cravens, man. But, um, you know, brothers that went through it, you know, suffered from NFL injuries and concussion injuries, you know, how they try to rush players back. So, if you got a chance, an opportunity, I'm going to also put that in my description down below. Sewell Cravens had a real good interview on the podcast, Momentum Truck. Go check it out, man. As much garbage they talked about that, man. They're talking about he's not right mentally. To me now, after watching that interview and also he doing some other stuff, I think on uh, CBS LA, Slim seemed like he got his head on right, you know what I'm saying? Go check out them interviews. And also, uh, Jordan Reed had a, um, my man Flemlo Raps had a real good breakdown on Jordan Reed. So if you got an opportunity, I'm going to put that down below too. But yeah, holler at me about them joints after you watch them, man. Get you, you know what I'm saying, in the mindset of those players a little bit, a little breakdown, you know what I'm saying, let the world know, like, man, when you're dealing with concussions and stuff, Mo, you really got to deal with them joints because you can't hurry up and rush back from them joints because you might end up like your man, too, and these other former players we had on our team. So, man, check that, you know what I'm saying, check them two uh, documentaries out when you get an opportunity. They real short, they ain't that long. So, yeah, check them joints out and them podcasts. Since we discuss discuss it and talking about head troubles, let's not forget about, you know, mental health too, man. And a couple weeks ago, Brother John Wall came out about his, you know, situation with mental health. Well, you know, Clutch Point app. You know, he did he discussed it, broke it down a little bit. And if you don't mind, I would like to share that, you know, discussion with y'all. So NBA star John Wall says emotional and physical hardships led him to consider suicide. Early in 2019, Wall underwent surgery to repair a ruptured Achilles tendon. Also, previously, he was dealing with a lot of knee injuries, too, and stuff like that. That's what was his issue with the Wizards, you know. Additionally, his mother and grandmother died a year apart from each other, all amid the COVID-19 pandemic. It's the hardest place I've ever been in. He said in an interview clip posted on Twitter, Twitter on Monday, at one point in time, I thought about committing, yeah, that S word. Wall said he sat with his mother in chemotherapy while she took her last breaths. He eventually enrolled in therapy. Looking at all that, I'm like, if I can get through this, I can get through anything in life, he said. Everybody goes through something, you know. We went through, we all went through tough times. Nobody got it easy. But I don't think a lot of people can get through what I went through. He also added to me to be back on top where I want to be and see the fans still want me to play. Having support from my hometown, just support, period, means a lot. And big ups to John Wall for getting that help and seeking that help, man. And that's big up for speaking out on that too, man, for real. So, man, let that be a lesson learned, man. Mental health is real out here. And, you know, we can't build these dams and block these emotions in 
we gotta let that river flow, man, and get the understanding and run into people to get understanding of these feelings and emotions we feel. So there's no issue or problem with go seeking that help and talking to somebody at times, man. You gotta realize, sit down and talk to somebody, even myself for real. So, hey, big up to John Wall for you know releasing that story and speaking his mind on that, and letting the world know, man. Hey, it's nothing wrong with asking questions and seeking help, man, for real. So, still sticking to this basketball situation, Washington Wizards training camp just started, preseason just started, and they looking, you know, pretty decent out there. First preseason game, they did lose against the defending championship, Golden State Warriors, man. Everybody put on the show, Curry, Bill, Porzingis, yeah, everybody was looking real nice out there, so... Man, big ups to Rui Hachimura showing hospitality to our players out there, man. Showing them his hood and everything. So that's what's up. And Kuz, hey, big ups to you for putting that show on out there. Dogging on cut on Wiseman, hey, getting him out the way. Big ups to Kuzma on that joint, too. But um, we can't forget it's Dallas week, man. That's why I say the last part of this episode, we must win. If we don't win this week, Slim... It's a wrap on the season. This is our Super Bowl, for real, for real. Beat Dallas, man. That's all I really got to say about this anything, man. This is Mad City Scoop talking to the Washington Commanders. Beat Dallas this week, man. And holla at your boy. You're going to see how this city turns around, man, for real. So, hey, this is another episode. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And thank y'all for tuning in, man. Trying to come with more action. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Your boy's out here, man. Mad City School, Cousin School. Hey, we out.